Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about the Amox Carousel widget brought to you by the Ultimate Post Kit plugin. Dragging and dropping the widget inside the Elementor page will give you a nice looking minimal post layout including a featured item. From layout, you can select up to 6 columns for the grid to display your post at a time. The lower the number, the bigger the widget looks. The scroll bar is for adjusting the row gap within the posts. Feel free to use it. We recommend using it to match the page resolution for the post images. After that, you can set the alignment for the content on top of the images. Notice that there are separate alignment options for the active item. The number field at the bottom is for selecting the number of the post that will be set as active. From the query, you can set the number of items to be displayed on the carousel. The limit can go as long as you want. Then comes the source option and the include exclude field. Using the include field, you can display only a certain type of posts in the Amox carousel. For example, click on the field and select terms. On the next field, type in the name of the category and select it. Now you will find the carousel displaying post for the selected category only. Below are the shorting options to make the carousel more dynamic. The additional section has a bunch of switchers to show or hide specific elements from the display, such as the title, date, category, comment, etc. For example, you can turn on the human different time switcher to show the real time difference for the published blocks. For navigation, you can choose arrows, dots, progress, and some combination on the carousel. Let's select dots navigation for this. Then change its position on the display. It's barely visible in an odd place, right? Well, let's fix it by going into the style tab and changing the horizontal offset Then again, turn on the dynamic bullet switcher to make the dots dynamically active. It looks good and professional. Anyway, we are keeping it off. The carousel settings section contains animation controls for the carousel including the span direction and layout. You can select the number of slides to scroll upon a single movement. All are good, let's move on to the style tab. From the first section, we can add some content padding to all of the posts. The active item has dedicated padding options. Then you can change the background color of the whole carousel. We are adding a thin solid border to the carousel with a violet border color for example. You can always decrease the color opacity for transparency. Then some border radius to round the corners. You can minimize the options to have a good look at the content anytime you want. Looks perfect. Now let's do some more. There are 4 title hover styles available for the carousel. Pick the one that you are comfortable with. There's also the text shadow, spacing, typography options available. Let's get a new hover color for the titles. Next, move on to the category section to add a matching background color for it. Then the text goes white. You can also make them round by adding some border radius and some padding to make them bigger. Just follow along.
Now we'll move on to the navigations. First, the color of the dots. Let's make it violet. Same color for the active one. Right after that, increase the width to the maximum. Also adjust the height. Change the offset value to bring them away into the white space. Now the navigation doesn't look like dots anymore but like a slider. Now adjust the border radius to make them appear nicely. And you're done. Like this, you can create a relaxing post interface using the Amox Carousel widget. That's it for today. Thank you for staying with us. Hopefully you'll like and subscribe to this channel and stay updated. See you next time.